What's up guys? It's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022-2023 edition. I think we might get done with 2022. Probably. I don't know. Anywho, in our last episode, we went through the 13th gym, and that happens to be J Misty. And, well, now it is time for us to do a little bit of side questing, you know, important stuff, before we head on to... The final portion of this whole walkthrough, and that is, you know, the inevitable battle against Red. Yeah, kind of really don't want to do that. So let's go down south and jump through these places right here. Hopefully my repel from the last episode works. And, well, look at this. Yeah, I sense a sinister shadow hovering over you. Take this to ward it off. And we got ourselves a cleanse deck, which is also great. And, well, let's see, that, that actually wards off any kind of, like, you know, wild Pokemon. My grandma is is into warding off what she labels to be evil spirits. I'm sorry that she startled you. Huh. This used to be the daycare, the original daycare from uh, Pokemon Gold, or, yeah, Yellow, Red, Blue, and all that crud. And I said it wrong. And, well, let's see, Underground Path, Cerulean City to, yes. So, now that we've turned on the lights, many cities in John Doe's have long histories I'd love to visit. We can actually use this location right here to get to the next town, which really is it's kind of moot. Just a little bit moot right here. Never expected to actually use this place uh, when I was actually playing Pokemon, you know, Crystal originally. But it leads you right here. But since you turn on the lights, bam, everything's good to go. So, first things first, guys. Let's go straight to this particular house right here. If you guys remember, we met the Mimic Girl a while back, talked to her friends, or her mom and dad, and they're gonna tell you about the mimicry and all that stuff. If you talk to Mama, she recently lost the Pokedoll that a boy gave her three years ago. Ever since then, she's gotten even better at mimicry. It kinda sounds like they don't like it. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to her. Hi, I heard that you lost your favorite Pokedoll. If I find it, you'll give me a rail pass? I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? And, well, pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do. But I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? Now, we do remember... We do remember seeing a Pokedoll. A Clefairy doll. So what we gotta do now is we gotta fly all the way down to Vermilion City. And if you guys remember, if you guys remember, we went to straight to the Pokemon fan club, and there was an individual there that, you know, was in love with Clefairies and all that crap basket. So let's go right here. Here it is. It's a Clefairy. Oh right, it's the Clefairy Pokedoll. And if you talk to him, he's like, I love Clefairy, but I never I could never catch one. So I'll making I'll make him do with a, a Pokedoll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost this Pokedoll is sad. Okay, could you take this Pokedoll back to that poor little girl? I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my own one day. No worries. And there you go, we got ourselves a Clefairy doll. And what happens next is we have to go all the way back. Because this is a very, very important. This is a very, very important thing to the whole thing, to the whole story right here. And we're gonna be flying it back. Let's go! Right here, flying it back. And BAM. Okay. Bam. Talk to her and Yay! That's my Clefairy Pokedoll! See the tear, or the see the tear where the right leg is sewn on. That's the proof. Okay, here's the magnet train pass, like I promised. Bam. Get ourselves a magnet train, a pass, and all that stuff. That pass is for the magnet train. The rail company gave that uh, gave that to my dad when they tore down our old house for the station. Hmm. Yeah, they used to live up top. So let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and take a look at the rail, like at the magnet train right here. So. Now that you got the Magnet Train Pass, and now that you've actually, you know, turned on the lights for every everybody here in Kanto, you talk to this guy, he's gonna be like, Well, soon depart to Goldenrod. Are you coming aboard? Yes, I am. Let's go right ahead and show that pass. And just like that, we're going 
back to back to the Johto region. Yeah, buddy. The champ is back to Goldenrod City. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, I miss this place. I really do. Look at that. Goldenrod City. How long has it been? Qu quite a while. Yeah, we gotta go back to... We gotta go back to Kanto anyways. So that was order one of business. Let's go to order two, which uh, I'll be right back with you guys when we get to Lavender Town. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Lavender Town. Now that the lights are turned on, you can go into the Lavender Town uh, radio station and everything is working. You talk to this gentleman right here, he's like, Ah, so you're Draven who solved the, po uh, the power plant's problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as a thanks. Bam! Throwing out the peace sign. We got ourselves an expansion card. With that thing, you can tune into the radio programs here in Kanto. ha 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 ha! There is one thing that is very useful with this item right here is the fact that now you can go through any channel right here in Kanto and uh, are there any channels? Seriously. We got pit places and people. Um, we got let's all sing. And let's see. The Pokey Flute channel. You guys know where I'm going with this, so I'll be right back with you guys for the next order of business. Oh, we're back, baby. Okay, so here we are in Vermilion City. Now that we got the expansion card, there is one order of business that we need to take care of, and that is, well, there's this big lug right here all over our area, because we need to progress and all that stuff. So, first is first, we gotta save the game. So I'm gonna speed it up a little, there we go. And uh, let's go ahead and pick up a Pokemon that will actually work in this particular situation. You know what? I know the Pokemon. I know, well, actually, you know what? Let's go right ahead and, and just use these Pokemon right here. Uh, yeah, we got it right. Okay, bring it. So, the Snorlax is snoring peacefully, and all you have to do now is go straight into the Poke Gear, put it to the Poke Flute channel, and then after that, it's gonna play along, click on Snorlax yet again, the Poke Gear was placed near the sleeping Snorlax. And there you go, Snorlax has woken up. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this. It's a Snorlax, level 50. You don't see that very often right here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to not poison it because, well, that could be pretty bad right there. Instead, we're gonna beat it up a little. It is a very, very tanky Pokemon, guys. Very tanky. So, and, and on top of that, it has the leftovers. So, the name of the game right here is to try and paralyze this guy as, like, as quickly as possible. And, well, it has its own body slam, and, oh crap, baskets, please do not paralyze me. And it did. Wow. What are the odds? Okay, so, if that won't work, let's go right ahead and switch it out to Fluffolt right here, since it's a much safer bet. does have Thunder Wave. And, well, here we go. Here comes a rollout attack. This right here is dangerous, mainly to the fact that We've all been there, we've all done that. Rollout can increase in strength after, you know, five, like after turn, after turn, after turn. And as you guys can see, it is uh, launching, it's, uh, well, it's unleashing hell right here. So what's going to happen is we need to go straight to Togepi. This might be risky. Please, 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 please miss. Damn it. Okay, so that right there is not gonna be good, okay. So it has a, uh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna fly just to make sure that this guy misses. And wow, it's fully paralyzed at the time that I need it to be, wow. Okay, so we're gonna get a fly attack. Here's a fully paralyzed Pokemon. Let's go right ahead, that way it won't be able to use any rollout attacks. And damn, that, yeah, that leftover, that leftovers that it has right now, that's, it's annoying. Okay, so it's fully paralyzed. Still recovering, so let's go ahead and chop it up. Chop up this big old mother-loving Pokemon. And here comes a Body Slam. Does not work. Jesus, each time we hit it harder, it comes back harder. And... Ooh, nearly got it. Critical hit. 
Okay, so I'm going to attempt something right here, guys. We do have a heavy ball. We got two of those little suckers. And this Pokemon is super heavy. Grande. It's a tank! One, two, three, and... Oh! I was about to throw the P, the P sign right there. And yes, it is increasing in HP right now, so... Okay, let's go with a swift attack. Shouldn't uh, It shouldn't hurt it that much. And there we go. Here comes that rollout. And that can't be good. Okay, so... Let's go with Serpentera right here. Can hold on for just a little bit, but then after five turns, it yeah, it's gonna mess me up just a little bit. So let's go again with one more heavy ball. Come on, do it for the bitches. Here we go. Come on, heavy ball. Come on, one, two, three. Throwing out that peace sign. Hooray for specialized Pokeballs. There we go. Alrighty, so here it is, guys. We got ourselves Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. Six eleven. 1014 pounds god damn it this Pokemon stomach is so strong even eating moldy or rotten food will not affect it Wow and yes we're gonna be giving it a nickname yes say hello again guys to tank a very very awesome Pokemon probably one of my favorite tanky Pokemon right here tank alrighty so because of that, let's see, Kenji, Black Belt, are you still on your journey? I remain dedicated to my training. Ooh, anyway, we'll chat again. Yeah, no one cares. Okay, so that was it for this episode, guys. You know, a few side quests here and there. In the next episode, we're going to be doing another gym battle and then another side quest in between. That way, you guys can stay satisfied with what we're doing. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. We're very, very close to finishing this walkthrough. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for staying patient and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. See you guys.